Welcome to the first match press conference of match number 77. If you would like to ask a question, please raise your hands and wait until we give you the microphone. I would like to welcome Coach Leclerc, Coach of Marie. Uh, Coach, your opening remarks, please. No, I'll take questions. I'm not prepared Thanks. to speak. Go ahead. Uh, مستر كلارك احنا شفنا خلال المباريات السوداني ثلاث ماتشات ملعب في الشوط الاول والشوط الثاني واهم هجمات على نص ملعب ايه؟ اللي شفنا المباريات السوداني يعني في ثلاث ماتشات ملعب النادي الاهلي واهم هجمات على النادي الاهلي لكن الهجمات دي لو بتتصور اللي عندنا اللمسه الاخيره عن مهاجم المباريات ان هم يقدروا يسجلوا اهداف النادي الاهلي The last touch was not great to score more goals for our attackers. That's the hardest part of the game to score goals. So when we are playing without a recognised striker, it is very difficult. Um, but we lost the momentum uh, with the changes after 2-2. Uh, the substitutes came on the pitch and didn't do their roles and responsibilities like they should have uh, for us to get a result. I'm very, very angry with this. I'm not just here to come and be uh, uh, patted down because it's Ali. We deserve something from the game and we've lost, so I'm very unhappy and I'm very angry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure about the game. The changes that we didn't have to do with the team that we were looking for, that they changed the team to the top. We were going to have a point in the game on the final decision. بس ما حصلش وانا ما كنتش جاي هنا ان انا اتعادل او اعمل حاجه كنت جاي اكسب وده اللي كنت هستحقه على الاقل نقطه. كويشنز؟ بليز. It's easy in hindsight to say this. This is what we worked on with our defenders. We've conceded two goals by us not staying in the right zones. Uh, this is work we've done through the week. This is work we've done on the video. So um, we, we work with the players. If they too and take this on board, we got ourselves back into the game fantastically well. But this shows the impact of the substitutes. When substitutes feel they're not starting and they don't take an interest in the game and what's happening and what's being said to players in their role and when they come on and just do what they want, it costs us the game. And that's what's happened today. اللي احنا اتدربنا طول الاسبوع اللي فات ده على ازاي نقدر نتعامل مع الاهلي دفاعيا وهجوميا وكنا شفنا فيديوهات وعملنا تحليلات حركيه وفنيه وكل حاجه على لعيبه الاهلي ولعيبه كانت مؤديه كويس جدا هو بس التغييرات ما عملتش المردود اللي هو كان مستنيه منهم بس يعني بنطمح للافضل ان شاء الله واحنا مش جايين ندافع احنا جايين نكسب المباراه And also to say thank you, uh, I appreciate the Egyptian people have been fantastic, fantastic with me uh, and my team and the hospi hospitality they've shown us. But you know, I'm a winner, so I'm not here just to be a little puppy dog that gets patted on the head by uh, puppy dog that gets patted on the head by Ali because they are the champions. I came here to win today, so I'm very angry and disappointed. But. I am not disappointed in how you Egyptian people and your country has looked after us. أنا عليتي على طول علي تفايز وما بجيش إن أنا أبقى واقف مستني حد يلعب علي أنا بلعب الفوز دائما وشكرا على التحية وشكرا على الاستضافة المصريين. رويت مستر كلارك للمنافسة دلوقتي ده على على ترتيب المجموعة وقيمة المجموعة بعد نهاية الماتش النهاردة. Yeah, the, the group was always going to be difficult. Um, we knew that at the start, um, and we are disappointed uh, with the result tonight. This could have given us a great boost. We deserved something. Well, no, it's easy to say you deserve something from the game when you defend like we did. You don't deserve anything. We played fantastic with the ball, but without the ball, we weren't. Or certain individuals weren't so good. إحنا لا إحنا عملنا مباراة كويسة وبالكرة كنا كم ممتازين جدا. كان في بعض الأخطاء من غير الكرة. 
وطبعا دي مجموعه صعبه وطبعا المجموعه كده كده هتبقى صعبه لنهايتها وده اللي اقدر اقوله دلوقتي يعني. بلس تو كويستشنز اون هير بليز. I don't think the next game against Ali, do you think that it's a good, good chance to play in Sudan, Khartoum? Okay, first of all, I, I think you embarrass yourself with the question about Sharif. You think I don't know about this player, you think I don't know his qualities, and you think I tell my players to just leave him the freedom of the box for two goals. You are crazy. You don't understand top-level football. Okay? And secondly, I'm not bothered where the game is. Me and my team are ready to play anywhere. If it's in Sudan, if it's in Egypt, if it's in South Africa, this is not my issue. My team is just, a, my, my issue is just about focusing on the games. But don't disrespect my knowledge of over 30 years as a player at the highest level and a coach in very lots of countries to say that I didn't pay any attention to Sheriff and my players didn't. We, we study them closely, me and my technical staff, we work on them on the training pitch, but you know when players are top players, sometimes they do things uh, out of the ordinary. And this is, you have said it in your question, but I, I, take, uh, I take umbrage on your question because you're questioning uh, my mentality, you're questioning uh, how I go about my job. And I think you should be questioning other things. بيقولك المفروض كنت تسأل سؤال تاني ما تحرجش نفسك معايا بالسؤال ده عشان انا اشتغلت كويس جدا مع لعيبتي وعارف ان انا شغال ازاي واشتغلت معاهم بكل حاجه فيديو وتحليلات وتمرين في الملعب وكل حاجه ما تسألنيش في الكلام ده عشان انا دايما عقليتي ان انا بفوز وطبعا الحاجه دي مش هتفوتني وانا لسه قايل دلوقتي ان انا عملت كل حاجه انا والتكنيكال ستاف بتاعي ان انا اقدر افوز المباراه بس بس كويستشن بليز لا انا اسف نو بروبلم ليت ذيم اسك كويستشنز نو بروبلم ذا سيم كويستشن لا حضرتك سألت سؤالين لو سمحت no. It's okay, I can answer the questions, Thank no you, problem. Coach. Questions? Please? I am, I am not bothered. I'm not bothered if it's in Khartoum or Egypt. It does not, it does not bother me. I am the head coach. I don't get involved in this administration side of the football club. Uh, this is what we have many, many people for. This is what they have to do for their jobs, and they decide. And I just, whatever they tell me the game is going to be, that's why I turn up with my players and prepare them as best I can. أنا المدير الفني وفي ناس إداريين عندنا ورئيس النادي ونائب الرئيس هم اللي بيقرروا الكلام ده أنا بس أي فرقة أي مكان هاخد فرقتي وهلعب وهعمل جود برفورمانس إن شاء الله. Any more questions? Thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you.